despite all the praise for Taika Waititi and his contribution to Marvel after Thor Ragnarok, people finally started catching on to what he was doing with Thor Love and Thunder. It was a massive disappointment at the box office, and a lot of fans despised what happened. Thor Love and Thunder, what went wrong with Taika Waititi's MCU sequel? Some people just didn't want to acknowledge the fact that maybe even though you thought there were some cool parts about Ragnarok, that what Taika Waititi did to an established character in the MCU was a bad thing. It was a bad thing to do to make Thor into a completely different human being or a completely different Asgardian, we should say. But finally, Thor Love and Thunder, a lot of people came to realize what was going on. Didn't look good that he was shitting on his own movies VFX while VFX artists were complaining they don't have enough time to do some of these things. Well, now Taika Waititi is under fire once again for having little to no care for the source material for something that he's adapting. Time Bandits creator Terry Gilliam reportedly extremely unhappy with Taika Waititi's upcoming Apple TV adaptation. His disdain for the entire project was quite obvious. This is the same Taika Waititi who we, we learned he was going to do Thor Love and Thunder said, I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, baby. He did not care about the fans. He did not care about the source material. And now even more people are finding that out. According to a new rumor, renowned comedian and entertainer Terry Gilliam is not happy with Taika Waititi's upcoming Apple TV adaptation of his 1981 cinematic fantasy film, Time Bandits. Produced and directed by Gilliam and featuring a script co-written by himself and fellow Monty Python comedy trope member Michael Palin, Time Bandits follows the story of Kevin, a young history buff who ends up falling in with a group of six thieves who, with the assistance of a special map, sail throughout the time stream, stealing various treasures from the past. However, their lighthearted romp takes a turn for deadly when the villain, okay, if you've seen Time Bandits, you probably understand the plot of this movie. In September, Apple announced that it not only had officially greenlit a 10-episode television adaptation, but they tapped the Thor Love and Thunder mastermind to direct and executive produce the series. While audiences no doubt rolled their eyes at the prospect of another Watiti-led cringe fest, the biggest crit critic of Apple's hiring decision has actually turned out to be Gilliam himself. As per a crew member who spoke to the World of Reels, Gilliam abruptly ended and walked off a December 2022 visit to the series New Zealand set after finding himself massively disappointed with Taika Watiti's handling of his original vision. He wasn't happy, said the insider. He kept groaning and making remarks. Terry was supposed to be there for two weeks, but he left after three days. His disdain for the entire project was quite obvious. You probably won't be hearing any praise for this series from him anytime soon. No one officially responded to this rumor, but is it is it that hard to believe? Is it that hard to believe that Taika Waititi, who has shown not a care in the world for the source material, has said multiple times, I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, baby, and proceeded to do exactly that and put one of the worst MCU entries we've seen with Thor Love and Thunder, despised by so many people and a massive disappointment at the box office. Is it any wonder that a guy like Taika Waititi wouldn't have respect for something that he's adapted, wouldn't have respect for something that came before him, and instead would just want to do his own thing regardless of what anybody had to say? It shouldn't surprise anyone that Taika Waititi is like this. Yes, he fooled some people with Thor Ragnarok because a lot of people just heard the cool soundtrack and they thought Thor was different and cool, but at the end of the day, that was destructive to Thor's character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Some people didn't want to accept that Taika Waititi was bad for Thor and bad for Marvel, but at the end of the day, now that we've seen everything, it's obvious that that's the case. And now... Yet another person, Terry Gilliam, is pissed with how Taika Waititi is handling this adaptation of something that he cares about.